Good day to my lecturer and my fellow friends. My name is Jonathan Kuwe Kai. You may call me as John Koo. In this video, the topic of interest that I'll be giving is a narrative speech about the life story of the Buddha. In the early life, before he became Buddha, the 6th century before common era, he was born a prince of the Shakya clan, a clan of Iron Age India. He was first named as Siddhartha Gautama. At birth, a sage predicted that he would grow up to become a king or just a holy spiritual monk. His father was hoping that his son could take his place as a ruler. So he hid his son away from anything that might be distressing. Siddhartha's mother died within a week of his birth, but he had not been aware of this and his father did not want him to experience anything else as he grew which might inspire him to adopt a spiritual path. After some years, Siddhartha grows up living in a luxurious life of comfort and pleasure in the palace of India and gets married and has son but without having met ordinary people outside the palace. One day, he took a ride outside the palace and witnessed how ordinary people live. He saw an aged man, a sick man, a dead man, and a religious ascetic. Through this sign, he realized that he could become sick, grow old, and die, and lose everything he loved. He understood that the life he was living guaranteed he would suffer and furthermore that all of life was essentially defined by suffering from want or loss. To search the great way of liberation to save all sentence beings from the cycle of birth and death, he decided to leave his family and the palace on a white horse. He asked a lot of wise men for advice on how to live but doesn't get any good answers. He tried to starve and not eating like the beggar monk for a few days. Ended up, he gave up the idea of starving himself. He sits beneath a Bodhi tree alone to meditate. From there, he stayed and find a solution. Nothing will make him move or even demon called Mara. Mara offers him lots of great things, but Siddhartha just stay put. Finally, after meditate for 49 days, he find out that humans are always never satisfied and they always want more and never end. And their suffering also never end. From there, he become enlightened and become the Buddha. <clears throat> he is no longer Siddhartha Gautama, but Buddha. Buddha wants more people to realize this. Some of his friends listen to this and starts to follow him and become his disciples. Buddha preached to them and other people more. At this time, India Everyone is Hindu. The Hindu believes in rebirth and reincarnation, which is born, live, or die in an endless cycle. So, the Buddha preaches the importance of getting free from samsara, which is death, getting reborn and make it impossible to avoid suffering. Buddha had tried both being rich and starving. These are two exaggerating ways of living and neither are good. He believes it to be better to choose a middle way. Cultivation is like playing a musical string instrument. The string was snapped if it's too tight and it not make any sound if it's too loose. 
Indulgent in sensual pleasure or extreme penance are attachments. Be at peace with the middle path for achieving the liberation of the mind and the body. Instead of being reborn, the Buddha believes that after death, he can get to a place that they don't want anything but nirvana. Nirvana means blown out. All your desires are blown out and will reach to the kind of peace. Buddha wanders around preaching about Dharma, which is the duty to free all sentence being from the sea of samsara. At the age of 80, between a pair of sala tree, the Buddha has finally entered Nirvana. He has delivered all the sentient beings and have planted the seeds of deliverance for those who have yet to be delivered. After the Buddha entered Nirvana, his teaching spread from India to China, Japan and many Asian countries. And eventually, throughout the world, blessings all sentence being and the world with the brilliance of its wisdom. Thank you for lending me your ears.